into the tanks, I come to life, you know, it's like reinvigorating. Let's do it all again and like get wrecked. <laughs> Most people think, you know, Waco is, you know, the classic lines they see over and over in videos again. And the cool thing is, is there's a whole nother side to Waco that like none of you have heard about or seen. Moving here last April, I kind of was like, oh, you know, there's some things probably out there. And then the actual exploring that I did this season, it just blew my mind. And I want to go and see every single rock that's out there. And if I don't turn around one quarter, I'm going to have to go back up there another time and see that exact same spot because I know I may have missed something that's like lurking back in there. I wish I could just jump higher. I wish I could just jump higher. I wish I could just jump higher. This is exactly what I need. This is the first move of the boulder problem. You know, not only does it have this great climbing history, it also has the history of the people that were there before us. And, you know, you can feel that when you're out there, you know, you see 
the rock paintings and you, you find little pieces of pottery, it's like there's this real presence of what happened here and it's powerful, you know, it, it makes you think it's, it's not just, you know, your playground, it's been this way for a long time. You know, who has passed through the same cavern you have. Be really observant. Look at your surroundings. Know that it's not just skin deep what you see on the outside. Like, there's a whole nother, you know, world out there. The rock's made to be climbed, you know, so. Of course, people were climbing it for like hundreds of years. There's like just a ladder of holes going up the wall. You just see it and want to climb it. see the line, it, my first thought is, wow, that's such an amazing feature. I want to be up there. Not only is it just an amazing rock, but like you're a part of it. You have to have the desire to like get yourself there and then climb and still like, you know, figure it all out. And just the first part is half the battle, you know, just getting there. Uh, so this is the sharp end. I'm tied off to the, the anchor. So just in case some of this choss cuts loose, I won't land all the way down there in the death pit. And once you reach the lip, basically everything behind you just drops out and you have this great feeling of exposure. It's something that's hard to like put out of your mind. I think, yeah, that, that fear or, you know, pushing past that point, it, it is primitive. It reminds you who you are and, you know, that you're alive and if you just living your life and going through the motions and being comfortable all the time like you forget what life is. Ooh, oh, 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 
Yeah, I've been coming here for many years and taking trips. You're here, but you know, you have to leave. Now it's finally like I'm living here and uh, there's really no end in sight.